you know, Gautam Buddha was right God, when Gautam Buddha said the problem with people is people think they have a lot of time. You do not have a lot of time. Uh, I believe a leader who's not following another leader is not a leader, but um, an average loser. See, when you say big... Ah! Hey, Vishal Sarkar here, right now, uh, at the airport. Wanted to just say this. You know, people often say that, uh, Vishal, how do I make sure that my confidence is consistent? What can I do? What is? What should be my habit? What should be my routine? Vishal, what should be my ritual? Vishal, can you give me some personalized tips? And look, yes, we can give you that. Inside our coaching program, that's what I do. Help you get the maximum results by giving you customized solutions. But here are, you know, few things I do on a regular basis to make sure that I stay on purpose. Number one, revisiting my mission statement of my life, my purpose statement. We, One of the things I do for the people that I coach one-on-one -on -one is something called purpose extraction process. We extract, uh, not guess, not just templatize, but extract what's your purpose in your life. And, and I have one for me. So revisiting that on a daily basis, uh, preferably in the morning, number one. Number two, writing down your goals. Um, your goals. I'm not talking about your your big vision, but what what are your goals that you want to achieve in the next three to five years? What are some of the goals you want to achieve in the next one year? And what are the goals you want to achieve in the next quarter? I think most people just create New Year resolution, and that's the reason they don't become successful because they don't know how to get there. You need milestones. You need accountability. You need tracking. Before attending this program, I was not confident enough. When I say the confident that I didn't choose to believe in myself. So the first one is purpose visiting. Number two is writing down my goals. The third thing I do on a regular basis that keeps me on point and purpose is talk to my mentor. You know, my mentor, Mr. Jason, he charges 84 lakhs rupees a year to coach anybody. I mean, coach somebody. And he only takes about 10 people every five years. Um, so I've been getting mentored by him for the last eight years. It's 84 lakhs rupees a year to just get into his program. And if you want more one-on-one -on -one access, you pay more. The reason I mention this is because uh, I believe a leader who's not following another leader is not a leader, but um, an average loser. And what I mean by that is a teacher has to learn more. You know, a leader has to learn more. The day you think that you have learned everything because you're professionally successful or financially successful, you are done. You're already, um, you're already at the end of your good time. Make sense to you? So get a, get a coach, get a mentor, and get trained by them. Make sure that you have the humility, tenacity, capacity to absorb, apply, and ascend to the next level. That's the power of the alliance. That's the third thing, and the fourth thing I do on a regular basis is reflect on the shortness of time. You know, your time is not unlimited, regardless of what you think. Your, your energy is limited. Your time is limited. And so often people live as if there is forever and they will they do it five years later on and do people die all the time you know and the reason i'm talking about it see in life you don't have a lot of time what you have is a lot of dreams a lot of goals but you don't have unlimited time so what are you what you really want to do is tackle those goals the shortness of life is you know gautam buddha was right but when gautam buddha said the problem with people is people think they have a lot of time you do not have a lot of time your time is limited and when you start taking action towards your dreams, your goals, your vision, your mission, and what's truly important to you, you know, whatever that is for you, you know, radical transformation can happen for you. And that's what I want for you. So let's quickly revisit number one, purpose extraction process. Number two, writing down, uh, not guessing, not thinking about it, but writing down on a piece of paper, your goals every single day, talking to your mentor. And number four, you know, reflect on the shortness of life. You are about to die very soon. We don't know when. Uh, so the shortness of life so if you follow these four things you're gonna have a confident life you'll be on purpose and you're gonna find the true North Star that you should be moving toward that's what you for you right now now for those of you who really want to master public speaking those of you who really want to move and flow through with your words so that anytime anywhere you know exactly what to say to magnetize people towards you which basically means you know you 
standing out from the crowd so that you can get the promotion so that you can come home and say yeah I've increased my income by 40% in the next three months last three months so that you can take those exotic vacations that you've been thinking about for a long time so that you can see the respect in the eyes of your wife or husband or your kids for you so that you can hear the words you are my hero and if you really want to achieve that um, the only way to do that is get a mentor get coached by them you know you can you can go through a lot of courses you can just uh, for the next five I mean think about it for most people they stay stuck for a long time for the last five years and if you stay in that zone I, you, you probably will be stuck for the next five years as well so if you are you can break the chain today by getting a mentor so you can join courses after courses after courses where it's all theory or you can get somebody who's remarkably practical to really transform your life totally your choice all right i hope you have a great time uh looking forward to meeting you in our next event Vishal Sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection it's all about connection bye bye uh yeah shweta so let's talk to shweta so i was getting out from the gym 20 minute work 25 minute quick workout for for my upper body generally i do mostly my lower body workout so i came come out and I see a message on my phone. So generally, I don't. I get a lot of WhatsApp messages, but I know generally people who have my number are people that I know. So I, I check it because I know it's important. So Shweta sends me a message, Anupama, that you don't know, but I hadn't had the chance in the last five minutes to tell you that. So Shweta sends me a message and it re reads, I'm gonna read it uh, for you quickly. Uh, Hi, Bishal. I attracted my first high ticket client. You have always been a guiding light during tough times of all, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, she closed her first high ticket, you know, whatever the high ticket means for her. I don't know. Um, and also, so Shweta, how did this happen and how do you feel? Let's, let's show some encouragement to Shweta. How, how, what? what Congratulations, Shweta. Thank you. Thank you. Your son is coming. Nice job, Mama. Yes. Yeah, so I actually feel amazing and grateful to each and every one of you because uh, it's been a tough journey whatever i was doing it was in a very low ticket and i was getting the client as such but this is the very first time i got tracked my high ticket deal and i am so grateful to you vishal because i know and you know how the journey how the conversation we had always about it um, so but then when you say don't uh feel inferior no matter who you're speaking with it gives me the courage so i just want to yeah. do this more and more just if you can help me with the how do i you know implement it more if you if it helps and if uh, if uh, you want me to give a certain example um i sent you the pictures of uh, the 75th independence celebrations last monday i was invited the chief guest for one of the school and uh, i yeah. never felt um, i never felt nervous because I, in my mind i prepared the speech and i had posted that speech uh, in the whatsapp group as well it was 10 11 minute speech and um, yeah never i felt very very less nervousness uh, initially in, before the day but on the day i was ready and i was able to speak uh, speak uh, in front of set of let's say 400 500 uh, students or probably students plus quite a lot wow. of teachers as well this week i i got a uh... So in ADI, we have um, fellows that we call is ADI fellow. So they're like the senior, it's like the highest technical honor one can bestow on one person. So one ADI fellow actually sent me a message this week. I've been talking about this um, uh, leaving your legacy behind goals. You know, I, I you know, Vishal in the first in the very first masterminds, actually not even mastermind system, even earlier, uh, yeah. you, you had talked about um, how you should create goals for legacy. So it took some time for me to get started on it, but um, last few years I've been working on leading a couple of uh, networks. In the beginning, I started with a green team and last one year I've been leading our innovation network. So this fellow, yeah. uh, he also sent me a mail and this is the first time I got an award for, for being a leader. So he wrote very wow. nice words about, That's amazing. about, um, leading, uh, you know, and, and then that, uh, award certificate had, you know, thank you for being a great leader. So it was 
it's really nice i uh, feel that when before joining this course i was a good speaker i was doing well i was putting uh, my I, actually i love to create content and i put it regularly on social media and i was doing good but somehow i was feeling that i was not able to create that impact and influence on people people used to like me they used to love my content but somewhere i was feeling that still that something is missing that special ingredient and that caught me attention to this speakathon course Thank you.